The health department says a further 1.5 million people need to be put on antiretroviral treatment for South Africa to reach the UN AIDS 95-95-95 targets for HIV. This is for 95% of all people living with HIV to know their status, for 95% of all people diagnosed to be on ARVs, and for 95% of all people receiving antiretroviral therapy to have viral suppression. For us to, uh, to reach that 95%, we've done calculations in terms of the Tembisa model that we use uh, to do the estimations. We need to put at least 1.5 million people uh, on treatment so that we are able to reach that. So that's a huge figure. And it's mainly, uh, we worry that it's mainly in the group between 35, uh, 35 uh, and 39 uh, in terms of the gap. The development and rollout of HIV prevention interventions has come a long way. People now have a variety of prevention options to choose from. However, the South African Medical Research Council says to eradicate HIV, a more powerful prevention tool like the HIV vaccine is needed. So we're doing a whole lot of programs in what we call HIV vaccine discovery or HIV experimental medicine, where we're using immunogens that um, we are trying to coax the immune system to develop those powerful neutralizing antibodies that we saw with COVID. With COVID. To, to have a vaccine that will work, we need to have neutralizing antibodies. So the work that we're doing is trying to learn how to teach the immune system to induce these powerful neutralizing antibodies. Healthcare leaders have acknowledged that among the barriers to key populations accessing HIV and general health services are discrimination and stigma at community clinics. I'm Nuntlagani Pamakwaza for SABC News in Durban.